So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the MSI A75 MA G55. This is part of their Military Class 2 standard of motherboards. So this, although it is a micro ATX board, is not a low-end board in terms of the build quality or the features. Okay, let's see what kind of badges they've got here on the front of it. So it's Windows 7 ready, good. AMD Vision, okay, AMD recommended. USB 3, SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, and they've got a really shiny certified military standard stamp on here that actually looks looks really cool. Okay, let's go and look on the back. What do we have here? So more about military class. So we've got highly conducted. Sorry about that guys. Highly conductive polymerized capacitors with tantalum cores, up to eight times longer lifetime. We've got super ferrite chokes with up to 30% higher current capacity and all solid caps giving you 10 plus years of ultra long lifetime. Next we've got the MSI control center which allows you to monitor and tune your computer system. Click BIOS which means it is UEFI, that means you can use the mouse in the BIOS. And iCharger so you can charge your iPad or iPhone or mobile at high speed. Yes, you can charge your iPad off of the USB ports on this motherboard, although only certain ones. M flash allows you to easily flash your BIOS, and USB safeguard allows you to, hmm, that's interesting. So dual current protection allows you to uh, protect your USB chipset from static damage, which can happen on some cases if the, uh, the ports aren't properly configured. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um, what do we got here? So in terms of package, we have an I.O. plate. This is a PCI backplate with USB 3. So if you don't have front USB 3, well, at least you can add a couple more ports to the back. We've got two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second cables. Uh, remember, these are the same as SATA 2 3 gigabit per second cables, except they have white tips. So those are both straight to right angle. We have a Molex to SATA power adapter. We have an I.O. shield that is helpfully color coded. We have a military class quick installation guide showing you how to install your APU, how to install your memory, all that good stuff. There we go. Next we have drivers and utilities. Download the latest from MSI. We have their M connector which allows you to easily plug in your front panel switches as well as your front USB 2. Top quality and stability. This is your user guide. So that's basically the quick user guide in a book form with some other stuff. Now on to the board itself. This is an FM1 socket board. So what that means is that it is not compatible with Phenoms and Athlons, CPUs. This is compatible with APUs. So in this case I have an AMD A8 series APU that I will be using with this particular board and that means that it has both a CPU component and a GPU component highly integrated into this socket. So let's look at the overall layout here. So we have our FM1 socket right here. We've got what looks like a perfectly normal AMD mounting bracket, and it is. So these are all the same mounting holes and mounting clips that we've seen in the past. You can use your old heat sinks, no problem. We've got our power delivery as well as our PWM heat sink here. We have a four pin CPU power connector, and it's ideal location at the top left corner. We've also got four DDR3 dual channel sockets so you can plug in up to four sticks of memory running in dual channel. We've got our 24 pin power connector in its ideal location, a four pin PWM system fan connector, six SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. Very cool to see that. We've got, uh, is that really a parallel port header? Okay. Uh, come on. There's our front panel connector so that's your power and uh, hard drive and uh, reset and all that good stuff, okay. We've got our front USB, another front USB, front USB 3 off a header. This is great to see. So in addition to the two USB 3 ports at the back of the board, we've also got two more supplied at the front or with the PCI bracket at the back. We have our front panel audio and then in terms of slot layout, we've got dual PCIe 16X slots. Those are both wired for 16X, but if you are going to run Crossfire X, I believe they're going to run at 8X, 8X. We have our PCIe 1X slot as well as a PCI slot. Got another fan header here. That's a three pin fan header. So we have two four pin and one three pin fan headers on this motherboard. Let's move around to the back of the board where we have one, two, three, four USB 2.0 ports, one PS2 USB uh, 
mouse keyboard combo port. We've also got HDMI, DVI, and VGA out. So of note is the fact that, okay, two things. This supports dual link DVI, so up to 2560 by 1600 resolution. And of note is the fact that on the FM1 socket, every chip that fits in here, an APU chip, is going to enable the use of these ports. Gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, and 7.1 audio. One of the other features that is highly touted for this platform is dual graphics, which works similar to how hybrid Crossfire used to work, but better. So basically you plug in your APU, you plug in a supported GPU, and they will actually have the two graphics cores, the two graphics structures work together for DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 compatible games and applications to increase performance. So it's a pretty good value way to upgrade your APU system if you just need a little bit more kick. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the A75 MAG55. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.